Okay, so here's a cup. This is a cup. This is not a pipe. This is a cup. We're going to talk about the cup as a structure and uh, as a, uh, in addition to what our discussions already have taken place in regards to perspective. So the opening of the cup uh, ostensibly is a circle and that circle in perspective is in the, what's called an ellipse. Um, whenever you look at a circle straight on, obviously that's easy to draw. You can just use a compass to draw it. However, when you look at it at, at a skewed angle, uh, it takes on an elliptical shape. And how we draw that um, is a um, very difficult thing. And it's something that um, is ubiquitous, you know, we see it everywhere. So the first thing you need to think about is the shape of the, um, the you know, the shape of the opening itself, which in reality is a circle, but from the angle that we're looking at it, it is an elliptical form. Something like that, right? Someone might call it an oval, maybe. Um, and the, uh, the shape of that oval is determined, or ellipse, is determined by the angle at which you are viewing it. So the higher your eye level is relative to the opening, to the top of the opening, the more of that opening you'll see. I drew a uh, kind of transparent little cylinder there. Uh, and you see the top of that cylinder is um, shorter um, in, uh, in this dimension. than the bottom of the transparent cylinder is, right? Even though the width is the same. Okay. So, a cylinder, strictly speaking, is symmetrical you know, on, on vertical axis. So uh, everything on the right side of the, of the cylinder is equal to everything on the left side of the cylinder. Likewise, the ellipse has that same uh, thing going on. The right side of the ellipse, the elliptical form, um, the right side of the elliptical form is the same as the left side of the elliptical form. this area have the same shape, only in reverse. Now the corners of the ellipse, I call them corners, they're not really corners, but the corners of the ellipse um, right here and right here are always directly across from one another on a horizontal line. So everything below that horizontal line essentially is equal to everything above the horizon line, with a small caveat that the, the area above the or I'm sorry, above that horizontal line, the shape right here, will be a little smaller than this shape right in here, way right below the horizon, right there, horizontal line, because it's a little further back, that's all. The bottom of the, of the uh, um, cylinder is also elliptical, right? Bottom of the cup. It's just a shorter ellipse, right? So it's smaller. Uh, so the arc, generally speaking, will be a little more subtle than the one on the top. Additionally, there's a, uh, this, this uh, cylinder is tapered, right? So you can see there, it has a kind of a, you know, pretty strict geometric uh, kind of composition when you look at it carefully.
pretty symmetrical all the way around, except for the, um, of course, the on the left side, as we're facing it, uh, the handle, right? Otherwise, a pretty kind of symmetrical form when we look at it, where everything's about structure, 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 structure. And then how do you convert that structure into form? We'll do that in the next video in terms of uh, applying the, the, the values to the drawing. Okay, let's move on here. So how do you determine how much of that ellipse you're seeing? Now, how thin it really is? Because you know in reality it's a circle, so you're going to probably give it too much uh, credence, you know, uh, the up-down relationship or the cross relationship, the front-to-back relationship. All you do, you know, we're back to visual measurement again, so all you do is you, you visually measure the, the top, front of the, the lip um, right here, right there. right there to this area right here. So that distance right there, you're measuring that versus something else, right? And in this case, you're measuring it versus the width, okay? So that value's there, and then I'll get rid of it. It's not. Oh well, we'll move on. Um, so, all you have to do is, is measure up-down relationship to the left-right relationship to find out uh, what how the proportion of that opening, right? And then you can make the drawing any size you want after that. So the next thing I think about is what's the overall relationship of the uh, cylinder, or in this case, the cup, right? You'd measure the width of the, the entire opening versus the height of the entire cup. And then as you draw a cup, make sure you, you maintain those proportions. From this, it looks to be oh, a little shorter than it is with wide in this scenario. Okay, so you just act that out in the drawing. Right? So we can't get away from perspective, unfortunately, right? Can't get, get away from structural issues, visual measurement, all those sorts of things. So, once you uh, carve this out, you make sure that the uh, um, you know you make sure that the the bottom is like right underneath the bottom here is right underneath the top too because the cylinder is setting it uh, straight up and down right you know so you want to make sure everything is is really specific in that regard. Now that's something you don't come to um, right away in the drawing. You kind of you kind of uh, push and pull the drawing over over time, and you're able to kind of make a make a drawing that is really uh, pretty symmetrical in that regard. Okay, it's really hard to draw that freehand, so it takes some adding and subtracting to get to that point, which we'll cover in the next video. Um, the last thing. is the um, idea of light and dark, okay? So the way this, this thing has been lit, uh, the way I've, I've lit this uh, drawing, the light is coming from the left and, and moving uh, across to the right, right? So the, the cast shadow, which is on the surface here, is being cast behind the object. The highlight is on the left side of the object. Shadow, modeling shadows on the right side of the object, and then obviously the modeling shadow gradiates as it moves over, right? So we'll talk about that as we um, develop the, the pencil drawing. But we get an opposite effect on the interior as the light is moving across. This area is sheltered. So we get a bright contrast, uh, you know, between the value here on the cup and the value here on the cup. Pretty easily seen. The right contrast here, it's just the opposite, right? White and dark. 
background too, if you've lit, lit it correctly. So dark, light back here. Conversely over here, light, dark. Now the untrained eye might see this as all one value, and perhaps it is, or perhaps it's getting a little bit darker as it moves to the right there, right? Or perhaps this area back here looks a little darker because this looks brighter. It's relative value. And then the deepest, darkest cast shadows right under the vessel there. It's like a happy face on there. Okay, so as we as we do uh, move into the next video, I'll show you a um, scribble technique uh, that allow you to start to kind of render this out in a more kind of atmospheric, impressionistic way, rather than in the super precise way that we've talked about in terms of the um, uh, the measurements and the uh, ellipses and the sense of perspective that we've talked about here as well. Because um, when you look at this, uh, let's back up here. These blue marks here. It's just a form in space, right? White on white. The reason I, I did that, because you know, when we uh, do the scribble drawing, we want to kind of and we'll pull this thing out of, of what, what I call the ether or the atmosphere, right? Rather than it just being this hard-edged uh, shape that we are coloring in. It has this soft, beautiful quality, you know? And you want to kind of be able to, uh, you want to be able to kind of um, call that out as an artist, right? Rather than being a hard-edged um, kind of a brutal form. You know, there's kind of a softness to it. And so how do you do that as an artist? There's many ways to do it. Um, but we're going to kind of use the, the scribbling technique as a way to kind of get to that in the next video. Okay, so that covers the ellipse, uh, visual measurement of the ellipse, the front to back versus the width, kind of what's going on with the elliptical form, uh, the fact that the, the, the lower the ellipse is relative to your um, eye, eye line or your uh, sight line or, you know, your eye level or your horizon line, whatever you want to define it. The lower that form is, that opening is, the more of it you see. In this scenario, in this case, this cup, it's pretty close to our eye level, right? Because we don't see much of the interior of that um, uh, cylinder of that cup. So the ellipse is pretty squashed down in that regard. Okay? Hard. The ellipse is hard. That's a very difficult thing, and it takes a lot, a lot of practice to learn how to draw it over time. But we'll, we'll, I'm going to take an approach here that might help you out a little bit in terms of just seeing these individual forms first before you, you try to draw the, the shape of the thing. So, okay, that's it for this video. Thank you.